All right, I am here today with my oldest daughter, Ellie. This is when you go like, hello, I'm Ellie. Hello, I'm Ellie. I have a great dad. Whatever you want to say, just make it feel natural, okay? <laughs> so, okay, so this is Ellie, and she has a bird right over there um, named Buddy. It's a pet bird. That's what you're hearing. Yeah, so you're gonna hear some squawking. You can see there's a palm tree and then a tropical bird. It's an island theme. We're in Ellie's room um, right now. You can tell this is my normal background. I've got 10 questions yeah. for a teenager. I haven't shown you the questions. I have not seen the questions. Okay, um, it's only gonna be about 10 minute-ish long because people on the internet get really mad. If the video's too long, they tell you in the comments. So and I wouldn't watch it, so. But this is a <laughs> bonus question. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Have you? I have not. Un <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm so close to 12,000. You could be the difference. I could be the one. Oh. I know, you gotta earn my wow. subscription. <laughs> I'll try to do more makeup tutorials. Okay, ready? Question number one. We're gonna start off easy and then get real difficult. <laughs> Great. Number one, top three favorite movies. Um, let's see. Probably Inception. Oh, Inception! Um, Wait a second. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. right there. Okay. I thought it was R for a second. I was gonna look like a bad parent. Go on. I'm 17. I know, I know, it's close. I don't. I just don't want you to hear swears for the first time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't buy me love. Great one. That was pretty good. Um, and then let's see what's another good one. I like Princess Diaries. Princess Diaries. Really All right. We would have accepted Back to the Future. I'm as pretty well. sure is, that's up there too. Or Princess so. Bride. Number two, what's the best thing about being a teenager in 2020? Like, like the teenager part or me being 17? Uh, uh, 17. That I can drive. That you can drive. Okay. I didn't have, like, once the pandemic hit, I already could drive. So oh, very like helpful. you slid that in before the pandemic. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That is helpful. Number three, at what age should a kid get a smartphone? Mm. I was 12. That... Most people get them now when they're like eight, though. Eight feels a little early to me. It does. Okay. It does feel okay. Early. So twelve-ish, thirteen. I think middle school. Once middle you get school. Middle school. All right. Age. Number four. What do you, I or your mom do that makes you cringe? That makes you say, "Oh no, Dad." Reels. Dad. Reels. Uh, so every day I threaten to do an Instagram reel. He I walks around singing old reel sounds. Yup. Nope. <laughs> Yep, that's what, I tried to do that one today, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> really did, it was too difficult and you're so lucky that I didn't figure it out. Thanks. I was gonna do the other one too, it was like, um, I drive a Chevrolet, what is it? Chevrolet? I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna do that one and be like this, and then I was like, that would kill them. Okay. <laughs> Number five, should I be on TikTok? No. <laughs> what, if you think reels are hard, I don't think you can figure out what it, What do you feel like is a legit age limit for TikTok? If, okay, you're the TikTok CEO. They've made you in charge, okay. and you you have a maximum age you can be on TikTok. How old? Okay, so there's. I think it's more if you're millennial. It's kind of weird because you millennial. Okay, what do you define as millennial? What um, age? Late twenties. Late twenties. That's probably fine. <laughs> yeah. That's probably um, fine. But old people are acceptable because most of the time their accounts are run by people my age. So young people, old people. Like but grandmas people, doing like grandmas that do yeah, funny things. Yeah, because it's so it's funny. Like what are they doing here? They're a grandma. Like that? Yeah, but most of the grandmas' accounts are run by like teenagers. So okay. What if we had a cat, like a crazy cat, that breaks all age limits, right? Like Mister, what if what, there's some cat you like? Oh, there's a guy who has a cat. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So if I had a funny cat, I could. Be I on mean, it. maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I could definitely be on it. Number man. six. <laughs> Do you think that you've never gotten into jewel or vaping because I'm an amazing parent? Do you think that's the reason? Yeah, <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> that was like a trick question. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you could answer that, but... I think my... the people I surround myself to... You think it's your that. community, yeah. that your group isn't into that, so you're not into that. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Because we're smart. Number seven, sometimes the rep that teacher, teenagers get is that you don't want to talk to us parents. It's the how was your day, fine, who was at the party, mm -hmm. no one, kind of thing. In moments like that, when parents are trying to connect, what do you think we should do? It's mm. a good question. These are great, good questions. I'm great at writing questions. You know, I don't really know because I just feel like, like I never say fine. So I don't feel like that question really applies 
You don't feel like so. you ever have grumpy teenager <laughs> moments? Oh boy. Oh boy. I wish I had a pen so I could write another question on here. <laughs> Is it, I mean, is it you want us to give you some space? Is it you want us to ask better questions? Is it you want us to like just like hug yeah. on you? Something like that? Like what do you want in those moments? I think you shouldn't like interrogate them. Interrogate. I would say sometimes I do 20 questions. And if by three or four in, it's clear you don't want to talk in that moment, I should be like, it's cool. You know what's fun. Yeah. All right, number eight. What's been the hardest part of the pandemic for you? School school just like yeah. the weirdness of it yeah you get some virtual you're kind of separated it's kind of weird okay it is it feels like it's like we're all getting picked off one by one yeah that's not a great feeling that doesn't lead to great teenage confidence number nine rank the social media platforms from the most popular for teenagers to the least popular i only have three so okay. i only have pinterest tiktok and instagram so so least popular for teens yeah. Are we talking like even like WhatsApp and all those? Yeah. Um, Give me like, whoa, that's really at the popular. bottom. Definitely like Facebook. Sure. Um, Who's WhatsApp. Facebook for? Um, old people or people who have a business that want to reach old people. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> old people or people that have a business that. Want Oh my, that's the tweet. <laughs> like you, but where would you put Twitter? Okay, so Facebook is here. Um, Twitter's a little better. I don't have Twitter, so I yeah. can't really speak for it. But uh -huh. you know, definitely above Facebook. Okay. Um, top Insta, top. Mm, I would say probably TikTok because it's most geared towards me. Yep. Um, then I would put Pinterest. I like Pinterest. Okay, and some of the, a lot of these images came from Pinterest. Oh right? yeah. Okay, that's what I think. And then Instagram. And then Instagram. Okay, you would put Pinterest above Instagram? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, um, number 10. If a dad wants to do a fun connection point with a teenage daughter, what would you suggest they do? Like, oh, go get coffee or something like that. Um, tell you what you shouldn't do. What shouldn't I do? Like, make TikToks. <laughs> and try to talk to them about TikToks. <laughs> Uh, you always are like, did you see anything funny today? Like funny videos, but you see them before I do. Yeah, because your they come from TikTok and then you get them on Twitter like two weeks later. Your favorite thing to say is, I saw that on TikTok last week. Yeah, that is I saw it things. straight from the source. <laughs> okay, bonus question that somebody sent in, by sent in, said on Twitter. When, I, when you say sent in, it sounds like I have a mail office. Yeah, they like wrote people. a question. <laughs> <laughs> and like my staff that's over there got the bird. They sent it uh, via bird. Would you take a job making a hundred thousand okay. dollars that you hated, or a job you loved and were good at for forty thousand hmm. dollars? I feel like this is a segue into your like books. I know like, <laughs> you should buy Do Over. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like a sales pitch. Um, like you gotta give me examples of job. Like what kind of job? Okay. Um, for a hundred thousand dollars, the job you hate is you have to give babies tattoos, <laughs> and it hurts. Like they're babies, Ellie. Okay, what's the, what's the forty thousand dollar one? <laughs> the forty thousand dollar one. Um, um, the forty thousand dollar one is uh, you have to test spicy food all day long. Why would I like that? Okay, so that's not a good one. Um, oh, it's gotta be something that I like. Something you'd like? You don't really like spicy food. You're kind of a difficult eater. I'm not a difficult you, eater. You Stop are. putting that on the internet. <laughs> you are. Um, <laughs> something you'd like? Okay, you get to play electric guitar for $40,000. I mean, Would that's more like? than most people play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And on, on that <laughs> note, chase your dreams, kid. Do not, it's so weird, like, what a weird job. To do you think somebody does that? They put tattoos on babies? <laughs> I, I mean, that feels... thats I can't believe you said that. That's so weird. All right, so that was 10 questions. It was really 11 questions, and I threw in some bonus ones. But thank you so much for watching. Ellie, my 17-year-old daughter, and me. Um, if there's one thing that you could give a child, um, I don't want to make this too personal, but if there's one thing that you could give a child that would really mean a lot to them, it would be subscribing to my channel. <laughs> Um, that would, she would love if you could do that. She asks me every day, Dad, have you hit 12,000 yet? And I haven't been able to say I have yet. And that's, that's hard for both of us. It's hard for the whole family. So thanks for watching.